go ahead and get this movie started. All right, and we are starting in three, two, one, play. Here we go, Sonic 2. And this movie is like, Kind of drastically better than the first one, I feel like. Maybe not drastically. It is quite a bit better, though. It, this Because this is like, they're actually making this movie as an actual Sonic movie. They're not trying to hide stuff. Like they are in the first one. The first one, like I was saying, like they're... Sega! Uh, they're trying to make that, like, appeal to a wider audience, not have it be so wild and crazy. It's a much more toned down Sonic. But this. This. Look at where the movie starts. Look at how it starts. They're not shying away from it anymore. But uh, I'm eating an, uh, an enchilada. And some rice. Wait, Blur Studio worked on this? Did they work on the first one? I know Jeff Fowler worked worked or works. Is he is he still at Blur Studio? But I know he's like started at Blur Studio Studio. And if you didn't know Jeff Fowler, the director of these movies. One of his first jobs was Shadow the Hedgehog, the video game, working on those CG cutscenes. Hee hee hee, Robotnik! Stone! I really hope we get going into like space stuff. Come on. Because they're still shying away from some stuff. They're getting closer. But that trailer for Sonic 3 doesn't outright show any like, uh, what is it called? The life. Something. Whatever the heck Shadow is supposed to be imprisoned in or whatever. Although, he's not in prison in it, right? Maria, like, sent him there so that he wouldn't be killed by gun. To be hidden away. Yes. <laughs> like I want the death egg to show up at some point in these movies, but I don't know if Jim Carrey will be around like still wanting to do these movies at by then. Like I don't know, Sonic 3 might be his last one. Sonic 2 was supposed to be he retired. But then he came back for 3. Also, who the heck are these red shirts? Like warriors that are working with Knuckles, for Knuckles, or... They remind me a bit of Jet, like, with the helmets. From Sonic Riders. Dude, if he ever shows up, oh my gosh. That's kind of what I want. I want either do, like, a, like a, a show... Or just get weird with it and do some kind of spin-off movie where it's, like, not part of the main plot. And it's kind of just, like, like a Sonic Riders type thing.
the lightsaber nunchucks. Hey, you stone. <laughs> Piece of shiitake planet. <laughs> He's from Carrie is so good. I would love to know the behind the scenes of what got him back to these movies to do a third one. Like, did they offer him something specific? <laughs> Show me the way, Knuckles. Seattle. <laughs> oh, and then we get that like opening scene from Sonic Adventure. By the way, I am playing Sonic Adventure for my first time ever. Over on Super Punch Turbo. Go check that out. You see, they do like this famous licensed music. That's not what we want. But I mean, it. This song, though, out of all the songs that have been in the Sonic movies, this this is like a Sonic. This could be a Sonic song. I think it, it goes with it. But still, imagine... I'm bringing up the Sonic Adventure soundtrack right now. Wait, no, not Sonic Adventure 2. Give me the first one. Where's the first Sonic Adventure soundtrack? Here we go. This is honestly how I watch these movies. <laughs> Like, I just play Sonic music while watching these movies now. <laughs> we better hear Shadow Cuss at some point. There's not much you can say in a PG movie. But if we can get Shadow saying damn it at some point, <laughs> that'd be awesome. I love that over-exaggerated ice cream fall-off.
Is that feather there in the first movie? Is it just me, or is this movie quieter than the first one? It's hard to tell, but I think his quills maybe are a little bit longer in this movie. Maybe they're not. I don't know. <laughs> I love how it just falls apart horribly. <laughs> Yeah, Sonic looks so much better in this movie. Like, feels more there in the scene. And I think it's probably because they did have to go back and redo a lot of the stuff in the first movie. But also that original trailer wasn't very good either for the CG. Yeah, I don't think his quills are longer. I don't know. Some some shots, I think it's just the angle. Like, they look really good, and then other ones are kind of like, eh. Yeah, this discussion... I really thought it was going to be a little bit of a time skip for the next movie. It's going to be older. <laughs> the most convenient way to travel <laughs>
Wachowskis. See, I don't mind this kind of music for, like, these kind of scenes. Yeah, Sonic's like a skater. He, he should be listening to more, like, rock music. I don't think it works that way, Sonic. Someone's just going to take that money. Oh, here comes my boy. Oh, other boy. <laughs> I was thinking we were going into the Knuckles scene. Here's my other thinking. We get introduced to two new Sonic characters in this movie. We get Tails and Knuckles. I feel like there's going to be a secret second character in the... I hope it's secret. I hope it's kept secret. That'd be amazing. But in Sonic 3. Whether it's going to be an Amy, which I don't know. I hope. That would be awesome. But I don't know if she's going to be introduced in this movie. Um, I'm not sure who else that it could be. <clears throat> I think I mentioned it. But I, yeah, I talked about it during the first watch along, first movie. But uh, I think I think we're gonna get Metal Sonic at the end of the movie. Whether he's like the big bad that Sonic and Shadow have to team up against, which I hope that's not the case. Uh, I would much prefer. Is it the Life Colony arc? Is that what it's called? But I just want that ending of like Adventure Two and. The Shadow episodes and Sonic X. I want the movie to end that way so bad. <laughs> Just slapping away. Yeah, he knows. <laughs> yeah she I, Rachel I think right uh, she was funny in the first one 
But I think she has some pretty great moments in this one. But I do think, like, a lot of th that's those scenes of the the wedding stuff is uh, a, a, a bit too much. It takes away from the Sonic movie. It's like they had a script idea for a completely different movie that didn't get greenlit, so they shoved it into this one. <laughs> that's so good. I love this. <laughs> he looks so good. That mustache looks so good on him. But I, I think I'm right. It, it is smaller than the mustache that he had in the at the end of the first movie. But this still looks really good. <laughs> Knuckles! Heck yeah! Dude, I was so surprised and impressed by Aegis Elba's knuckles. Like, I thought Aegis Elba was going to be good as knuckles, but I did not expect it to be, like, perfect. So it just, it doesn't sound like Aegis Elba. It just sounds like Knuckles. I'm just watching Knuckles. That's the one thing that I'm worried about with Shadow. Is that it does just sound like Keanu. But there are moments where it does actually sound like Shadow. <laughs> Knuckles looks so good too. <laughs> you speak in my language. <laughs> Dude, this is so great too. Oh. <laughs> Dude, Jim Carrey is a national treasure. And like he he just fits so well in these movies. 
Like, he doesn't outshine any of the other characters or anything, and he, he's not too much, you know? Sonic has a little bit of experience driving at this point. Spoke too soon. That's so good. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I don't like that line. Because it, it feels like there was a different take or something of Sonic that they changed. But they didn't change Tails' response to it. That's a great shot. But, um... <laughs> yeah, like it, it, I f it feels like Sonic is supposed to say, Did your butt just turn into a butt copter? And then Tails has a line, Ah, butt copter, only Sonic could come up with something like that. Like, that feels like the natural writing of that scene. But then they just either didn't put that take in the movie or whatever. So we're left with just Tails having that weird kind of out of place line, it feels like. And also the mean bean. So good. Agent Stone. My theory for these movies, I don't think it'll happen because it's kind of maybe a little too dark. But my theory is that Agent Stone becomes one of the robots that is like um, Eggman's sidekicks. Because, like, in the games, Eggman typically has those two robot sidekicks that are always with him. And Agent Stone kind of feels like that's what he's supposed to be. But just because they were trying to be more realistic with it, they were like, oh, having him have two robot companions like that's a little over the top, so let's not do that in the first movie. And then they still don't do it in the second movie, but... I thought of how they could do that. He looks so good. <laughs> yeah, how I thought they could do that is him, like, something happens to him and his consciousness or whatever has to get downloaded into a robot. I feel like that could be kind of cool. God, I can't get over how good Knuckles looks. <laughs> oh, they are stairs. He just almost so good as Douglas.
Now, why, why, why are you doing it again? Why are you having flossing again in this movie? It was already out of date by the fr in the first one. I mean, I guess like he was off planet for a long time, so he doesn't know. So I guess that kind of makes sense if you're thinking about it like that. Yeah, I would not say tightly around knuckles. Well, that your hand is not uninjured in uh, Sonic 3. <laughs> I'm so happy that we get his little floating egg machine. It's so good. That was that was one of the things that I thought we would never actually get in the live action movies. And it's so cool we do. Okay, wait. Yeah, I feel like Knuckles and Wade is like the perfect team up. Did my model freak out? I was taking my glasses off. This is a little strange. You know, space magic stuff, whatever. I just, I was having a thought of, since it's a recording, it would have been hilarious if it was just Long Claw was facing the other way. <laughs> but she shouldn't be making eye contact. <laughs> See, when he does that voice, it really sounds like Eggman. He did that at the end of the first movie, and then... I kind of wish he did a little bit more. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hmm. Could use some mushroom. <laughs> And then, of course, we have to have the, uh, the top gun volleyball scene. Like, they try to make Tom look like out of shape and stuff with that scene, but you can you could tell he's he definitely works out. Um, <laughs> they're just dudes being dudes. This scene is one of the ones that I personally would have cut from the movie, or at least changed. It's like on paper, it's a funny scene. It's it's just, it's very. I mean, it's a kids' movie. This is just something for the kids. Like. Think about the the end of the Spider Verse movies. They don't; those are kids' movies, and they don't have moments like this. Like this whole thing, I, I like this though. Run. <laughs> yeah, I like all that, but it's like some of the later stuff with like the dancing, the dance off stuff.
Hey, what's up, Kaisen? Hey, thank you. How's your day going? Came back from a long walk. Nice. How about you? I'm doing good. Watching some of my favorite movies. The first hints of Eggman's betrayal. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that's what they think, Tails. Got an ad for the new Transformers movies. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I heard it's actually supposed to be pretty good. The trailers didn't really look that great to me. Yeah, I expected the usual badass optimist. Yeah, it, it, I believe it's like a... Where well, the trailer looks comical. Yeah, it's, I believe, like a prequel series. Like, they don't have their actual transforming powers and all that. And it's like how Optimus Prime became the Optimus Prime that we know him as. <laughs> this guy's tattoo of just himself. It's so good. By the way, do you happen to know a series called Randy the Ninth Grade Ninja? I do not. We dance. Come on, Sonic, you could dance better than that. See, it was epic when I was a child. The main VA is the same as Sonic, really? The movie Sonic? That's cool.
And he's also one of the um the Ninja Turtles in which series was it? Was it the Rise of the Ninja Turtles? Hydrate. Yeah, I think it was the Rise series. Yeah, it, he's great. I like Ben Schwartz a lot. Uh, Shortison had a few areas. I'll edit it again. Okay. Oh yeah, and then I was uh I was gonna message you. I was thinking it might be good to have some uh like background music for it. Like maybe one of the Sonic songs. I'm not sure what would go well with it though. Messed up a few timing things as well. Alright, no problem. Yeah, this moment of tells is so adorable. Oh, the best of buddies. <laughs> I forgot about this moment, too. <laughs> Let me get my sonic mu music ready for this. I have one that I want to play. I don't know. It'll, uh... Organize, let me see which... I mean, yeah, I can turn off the organ. Oh yeah, dude, the artwork for this scene is so nuts. It's so cool.
It looks so cool. Alright, I have the music queued up for this scene. Uh, which part of the movie are you at? Uh, it's when um, Sonic and Tails are at the like the snowy mountain area, just before uh, Eggman and Knuckles like break through the ceiling at the owl statue. Robotnik's back. <laughs> Professor X meets the Monopoly Man. So good. All right, here we go. I got the music queued up. But I'm going to wait. I think it'll I think it's better if it's uh when Knuckles starts snowboarding. Is when I'll play it. Maybe not. Yeah, right here. Imagine this happening in the movie. This would have been so cool. Like, I really hope we get actual Sonic m music in Sonic 3, please. Dude, that was perfect! <laughs> oh great, the Winter Soldier. When I turn the music off, it just- look at this. Look how boring this is without the music.
Tails, we were having a conversation. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, Tails is dead. Knuckles is starting to realize that Robotnik maybe isn't so good. Oh yeah, one thing I'm kind of confused by in um, the Sonic 3 trailer is why are they in a helicopter? Why aren't they in the biplane? The first actual Sonic music in the movie. I'm still, I, 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 it boggles my mind <laughs> that they don't use Sonic music for this movie. Uh, which part of the trailer was that at? Uh, which part? I forgot what I said. <laughs> you idiot, Tom. The helicopter thing? Oh, um... It's, I think, like, somewhere around 20 seconds in the trailer. It's like, they, it's the helicopter coming through, like, a giant ring. And uh, Tails has, like, the, like, those, like, helicopter helmets on his head. And they're looking for, or they're, there's the big explosion that happens. And they're like, oh, start with the explosion. And then they all jump out of the helicopter. There were so many better options, Tom, for this moment. <laughs> <laughs> Olive Garden guy. Uh. 
This was so wild. Having them all be undercover agents for gun. Operation Catfish. <laughs> Pretty sure that's because the government recruited Sonic and his team to go against Shadow. Yeah, I I am curious to see if in the actual movie they have like an actual pilot piloting the helicopter. But if it is just Tails doing it, then I don't see why it couldn't have been a biplane. So I'm surprised that the doctor's dad is portrayed as a bad guy. Uh, Dr. Robotnik? you win yeah his dad was a good guy in the actual lore um want a cure for his daughter yeah i'm i'm rusty on like that kind of era of sonic like i i haven't played uh sonic adventure 2 um like I know, I know the lore from Shadow the Hedgehog, and then the Sonic X series. Some of the stuff in that. I can't remember if Gerald is in. Um, Sonic X or not? It's been a while since I've seen those episodes. Yeah, from this moment on, like, personally, I would have cut all this stuff from out of the movie. This just feels very weird. It just feels like a completely different movie thrown into this. This was Shadow Pass, one of the Shadow games? Yeah. But I think the Gerald stuff is more talked about in Sonic Adventure 2, from the little bit that I do know about that game. <laughs> yeah i don't know if he is going to be a bad guy or not in sonic 3 and also if he even is actually there or not shot i got the best backstory that i've heard in sonic lore yeah I don't really know much of the backstory about the other characters. How did you do that all the way over there by accident? I'm pretty sure they switched his backstory a bit because Jill was supposed to be dead with his daughter and the gov government raided him. Yeah. Um, 
one of the like possibilities that I heard some people talk about is the possibility of it being like uh is this like imagination possibly maybe but also it seems like they're probably not doing the the I think it's called the life arc or whatever where shadow in the games is kept I don't know if they're doing that in the movie I hope they do Yeah, I don't think we're getting, like, space stuff in Sonic 3. Like, at the end of Sonic 2, of this movie, they do mention that Shadow was a project that happened, like, 50 years ago. So yeah, I'm really curious how they're handling that stuff. It would have been better if they introduced the Chaos Emeralds in this movie. That is a little accurate. In the third movie? Um, yeah. It's like, there's... It, it leaves the option open for, um... Uh, like with Sonic already going supersonic, like he, I don't know why he wouldn't immediately think of just going supersonic to fight it, Shadow. That is a creepy face. Yeah, the Metonic OP at the start of the third movie. Yeah. I mean, I, I could see Knuckles, like, with him wanting to protect the Master, Master Emerald and stuff, like, not wanting to let Sonic use it, maybe? True, but Knuckles would have to give in eventually. Yeah. I, I am really curious to see, like, who the actual, like, bad guy is that Shadow and Sonic have to fight against. It's like, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it is, like, a Metal Sonic, maybe? I would prefer that be the fourth movie. But uh if they're not doing the space colony arc stuff. Like I can't I don't even actually remember cuz that's Robotnik, isn't it? Robotnik's using the space colony arc in order to take over the world or something. And then that's why Shadow and Sonic have to go Super Sonic and Super Shadow up there. Feels like it's probably the hallucinations of Gerald, maybe? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't know if I finished my thought on that. That's what uh, one of my friends was kind of talking about that, that it might be just him hallucinating something going crazy or whatever.
Yeah, he ne uh he never got over his daughter till not yeah. Olive Garden guy. Hey Wade. I wonder if there will be John Wick references. Uh, I don't know if it's a specific reference. I posted it on my uh, story. I don't know if it's intentional or not. Uh, on Instagram. Of, like, John Wick and Shadow kind of doing, like, a similar pose. That could very easily just be coincidence. But I do think that the action scenes with Shadow, because we get that like quick shot of shadow going up against all the different uh gun agents and uh there's also that scene where shadow does the like almost the exact same kick from the shadow of the hedgehog game to that one guy but i think that's gonna be i think we're gonna get some john wick style fight stuff in that i i do hope we get shadow with a gun <laughs> please Gotta go fast. Oof. Oof. Those shots are so good. I had to mute for a second there. He's so good as Robotnik.
<laughs> Limp biscuit. There were, was that a ring collection sound? <laughs> Through me. Here we go. Gonna have some more music for the scene. Come on, dude. It's so good. Oh, sound the sound boom. That laugh is perfect. And then this is where we start getting actual Sonic weird, and I love it! We need more Sonic craziness in the movies. Is 
And I do like this moment. I, I believe they actually have the underwater, like, when you start running out of breath underwater, start playing a little bit. Yes, you must work together. Yeah, here a little bit. It was like really quiet and really quick, but it's there. <laughs> The lighting in this scene is so good. Hydrate. Thank you. The biplane. What if you spam hydrate? <laughs> I don't know if I have enough water for that. Join the team, Knuckles. Cop who offers you a bagel. How much water do you have right now? Uh, maybe like two sips left. I'm here, and yet I'm not all there. Robotic with auto tune is so great. We got two hydrates. And that's my water gone. He ate the display bagel. Oh. They're all there. You got anything else to drink? Uh, I have a little bit of milk.
<laughs> Hydrate with my milk. <laughs> and that is my milk gone. SA2, Sonic Adventure 2. That's cool, putting that on the helicopter. Wade. How much milk is left? I, that was the last of it. <laughs> there wasn't much left. It's such a good effect on his voice. Now you got nothing left to drink? Nope. I love how devoted Agent Stone is. Sketch request, nice. Me with Shadow and Sonic, all right, cool. I'll do that uh, probably tomorrow morning. I'll post that on Instagram tomorrow when I finish it. Hey, Rin, thank you, thank you. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're having a good day. He really is magnificent. How am I? I am doing good. Watching Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Absolutely love this movie. So excited for Sonic 3. Oh, hey, wait. I kind of forgot about this. We're actually getting some, like, heavy distorted guitars and stuff. It just doesn't last long, though. See, and then it's already gone. <laughs> Come on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I forgot. I got to queue up my, my music for this scene. I need the Sonic Heroes song. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Pardon my lightning. Sonic, no! <laughs> Doing the chicken dance. In this giant mech. Jim Carrey as Robonic is the perfect decision. No, the biplane! <laughs> the Sega manual, it's so good. Sonic's humor is so good, yeah. It's great. Oh, oh, here we go. This is the moment, this is the moment. Sonic Heroes. <laughs> Imagine you're in the theater watching this movie for the first time. And then this moment coming up. And then, and then. Then cue the music. Imagine this hitting in the theater. Better than Black Adam? Yes. <laughs> Sonic Heroes. Sonic Heroes. But then this, this is kind of a short song, so I'm just going to replay it. <laughs> Although it, it doesn't really match here. Wait. I guess here, let, let me let me try this one. I guess it doesn't really match for this scene here, though. Right, here we go. Fight starting again. <laughs> it's just, the music is just so generic in this movie.
The drums? Yeah, dude. The Sonic music goes so hard. Like, how do you not use this in the movie? <laughs> And I'm, I'm going to get the next song for the next part. Ready? I'm trying to find the right song. I'm gonna use one of the newer songs, just because I think it'll fit better. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna try this song. The theater be packing if this was there, right? Now imagine this. <laughs> the family stick together. They're all about to get stomped by Eggman's giant robot boot. The Chaos Emeralds start to glow. Smash! And then... But then... But then... Maybe not here. Maybe. Maybe here. I think I started a little early. I don't know. The other thing is, like, this whole scene. 
I mean, we don't get to see Supersonic really doing that much as Supersonic. I guess not much of a fight. Yeah, something like that. I bet this would have been different with power with shadow. Yeah. It just it feels like with these like Sonic movies, the first two, there's not much of like actual fight scenes, if that makes sense. Like, there's the, the boss, and they take him down and stuff, but it doesn't feel like much of, like, an actual fight against him, I guess? Just him running. Yeah. And, like, even at the end there, like, when, um, like, when Eggman goes to, like, punch him in the, the giant robot, then he just kind of stops it. Like, it's, it's a really cool moment, but it's, it's not, like, a, like, a fight scene. I think they could have used more action. Team Sonic. Hope Shadow brings that out. Yeah. F from the trailer, it seems like he probably is. Oh, wait, he had guns in the game, right? Yeah, in Shadow the Hedgehog, he had guns. <laughs> you could just pick up weapons and stuff around the levels. You could either shoot the police or you could shoot the, uh, the aliens. I, wanna, I really want to play that game again, but I'm going to wait uh, until I finish Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 on Super Punch Turbo, and then we'll probably go into play Shadow on there. Because I've only ever... Shadow the Hedgehog also has, like, multiple endings and, like, playthroughs. You can, like, play as good, neutral, or evil. And I've only ever played through the evil playthrough. I'm also very curious if we're going to get any of Black Doom in the movie.
John Wick with guns and now he's fast. Heck yes. You don't know what ice cream is, Knuckles, but you know what sprinkles are? Uh, the trailer doesn't give out the key points. So I, I'm happy that they don't. I prefer when trailers kind of just have, like, as vague of a plot as possible. I tend to only watch, like, the first trailer of a movie, and I try to stay away from the rest of the trailers so that I don't get too much spoiled. Oh, yeah, I wanted to check and see who the cinematographer is for these movies and if it's different for the third one because the third one is shot incredibly well. Oh. Okay, so at least for the first Sonic movie, it's the guy that did the Fast and Furious movies. That's funny. In tuxedo? <laughs> and then, but he didn't do the second movie. He didn't do this one. Brandon Trost did the second one. Now, who's doing three? Do we know? Is that out? Oh, okay, so it's the same cinematographer doing this one and the third one. Okay. So what else has he done, then? Let me check. Oh, and then this great moment. Oh my gosh. Seeing this in theaters was so wild. I was freaking out. Agent Stone. <laughs> 50 years. <laughs> There's my boy Project Shadow. Ah, <laughs> yeah. dude, it's so good. All right, I'm going to take a little bit of a break, I'm going to get some food. Uh, and then let people get ready, and I I should be able to watch the Knuckles. No, yeah, I absolutely can watch the Knuckles show. Okay, I was gonna say because I don't know if I have Paramount, Paramount Plus, but I do. Um, so I'm gonna get that set up. I'm gonna let all of you guys get that ready. If you are watching that along with me, uh, Paramount Plus, Knuckles. I have seen the first episode. You can watch my first reaction to it over on my Patreon. But I have not seen any of the other ones. I've only seen the first episode, and that's it. But uh, 